This game day preview is brought to you by Asgrove DeKel. And that will do it. The Bison for the sixth straight year go to the FCS National Semifinals. Last Saturday, the Bison earned another victory over another team they've already faced this season. However, this week it's a completely new opponent for NDSU in the Richmond Spiders with the trip to Frisco on the line. This is a really good football team. See it on film, but now seeing them do it against a team that you're familiar with, um, you garnered our respect really quickly. I think they're coming in here to win a football game and, and get a chance to keep playing for a couple more weeks and we're doing the same thing. So they know they're a really good football team. We know that it's gonna be a tough challenge and we're excited for it. The last time NDSU defeated Northern Iowa, they lost to South Dakota the following week in the Fargo Dome making this week very important in recovery and game planning to avoid another letdown. We have already addressed it. We addressed it last night. Uh, guys, um, we got to get your legs back. We've got to get your mind back for the two hours we have you. you got to be locked into the game plan. you got to be locked into a practice. King Frazier was one of the main reasons in the Bison victory over the Panthers. Frazier ran for 107 yards on 14 carries, a 63-yard improvement from the first time the two teams met. Hitting the big play, which Northern Iowa never gives up in the run game. I got to give credit to the coaching staff. They did a good job of uh, uh, switching up things uh, in the backfield and really letting us get more of a rhythm going for each and every back. That really just kind of sparked me these last five, six weeks, and uh, it really helped out a lot. While the Bison rushing attack was a major factor in NDSU's win, stopping the run was a key in Richmond's victory over Illinois State. The Spiders held the Redbirds to 95 rushing yards their second lowest output of the season. Well, they're a good read, uh, read D-line, and I think that it's going to be something that a point of emphasis is for us is to be able to sustain blocks, because not necessarily in that initial block, but they're very good at shedding blocks. It's not just the Spiders' rushing defense that is tough. Richmond's running back, Jacoby Green, ranks in the top five in the FCS in both rushing yards and touchdowns, and he is assisted by an offensive line that's as good as it gets in the FCS. Every one of their players has the strength and the size and the capability of footwork, the fundamentals, everything to really like come at us. They're a great offensive line. They're, their coach does a really good job of teaching them the fundamentals. Richmond quarterback Kyle Laletta ranks second in the FCS in passing yards, throwing for over 3,000 yards thus far. He throws the ball where he needs to go. Uh, pinpoint accurate, really good pocket passer. He doesn't scramble a lot, but when he does, he gets out of the pocket, he can run. However, the Bison will have the luxury of playing inside the Fargo Dome one last time, a moment Bison seniors will never forget. Finally, we really kind of have that true senior night, um, and that'll be just something special, obviously, my last time going out, um, you know, into the, in the darkness in the Fargo Dome. Uh, it's definitely be, you know, emotional, but I think that uh, everyone's going to kind of thrive off the experience. Kickoff is scheduled for Friday at 7 p.m. on ESPN2. This marks the third season in a row where NDSU has played at least three games on ESPN or ESPN2. For GoBison.com, I'm Brett Roar.